Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on my channel. Um, today is going to be kind of a somber video as this is going to be an in memoriam video. And so let's let's get right into this. Welcome to Cat's Crazy Corner. So today I am doing an in memoriam for my brother-in-law Brian Hilden. Um, we unfortunately lost Brian to COVID. Um, which is very sad because it never should have happened in the first place. And I just want to stress to people that, um, he was one of those people who opted not to get the shot and clearly you see what happened. Um, did he have an underlying health condition? Yes, he had asthma. Um, but at the same time, there are lots of people who, you know, have asthma that got the vaccine and... If they caught COVID, they didn't pass away, you know, so this is, it makes it sadder because it was highly preventable, you know, um, his daughters had told him, you know, they tried to talk him into getting the shot, his kids, you know, they all tried to convince him and he just, for his own reasons, he decided not to do that. And it's very sad that at 56 years young that, you know, these kids lost their father and, there's a lot of people out there who lost a great friend. I lost somebody that I considered my brother, you know? Um, so this, this is a tough one to do, but it needs to, it really needs to be put out there. Um, you know, Brian had six children. Um, there was Anthony, Amy, Amanda, Abby, Brandy, and Bella. Um, and you'll hear me refer to probably Bella as Izzy. That's just what I call her. That's my little busy bee. Um, you know, I have my own little nicknames for all the kids, but that would be why I have the outfit on. Um, this hat right here, this was Brian's. Um, he wore this for his St. Patrick's Day, you know, outfit. And I will be carrying that tradition on with this hat, including it in my own stuff that I wear, which most of you that know me know I like to dress up for holidays. So this is just an added bonus that this is a piece of Brian that I get to um, carry on with my St. Patrick's Day dressing up tradition. Um, this is also one of Brian's old shirts. Um, red was his favorite color, so I opted to um, take a shirt that was not only his but also his favorite color. Um, you know, it's going to be a great nightgown. Like, it's very comfy, it's very cozy, and I'm just happy that I get to have a small piece of him left over, as well as a llama, a stuffed llama. That is, I love llamas, and when his kids told me that they decided that, um, I should have the llama. I felt, I felt so much love from his girls and, you know, this just, Brian, you know, um, I had talked to the kids before, um, and asked them if it was okay if I did this. And they absolutely told me that I absolutely could, um, because I really think that Brian does need to be honored, um, for the wonderful man that he was. Um, he was a great father. He was a wonderful son, brother. Um, just a wonderful husband. He was just a great guy. Like, honestly, um, we had the funeral services yesterday and it was just amazing and so beautiful because I don't think that Brian really knew how many lives he had touched while he was here and how many people are going to truly miss this man now that he's gone, you know, and it's, it's just heartbreaking because I was older, you know, when I lost my father, but it wasn't, it's still not an easy thing. And these kids are so much younger and, you know, I keep trying to explain to them, you got to not think about the things that you're not going to be able to do with him now. You need to remember all the things that you did get to do with him and all the things you got to experience. And you have to remember, too, that 
his physical body may not be here, but his energy is always going to be here. He's always going to be right there with you every step of the way. And so um, I just wanted to share some of the beautiful pictures from the service, um, the beautiful flowers that were there, um, some of the delicious, you know, desserts that the ladies at the Resurrection Church in Monticello, you know, made for this particular celebration of Brian's life. Um, again, you know, this, this is a very sombering thing and it is extremely hard when you know that this was completely preventable. Um, so remember to, you know, always, always live every day. Like it could be the last time that you're seeing someone tell people how much you love them every single day. Make sure that you voice your feelings because in situations like this, You never get the opportunity to do that once they're gone. So it's very important. And I'm glad that his children got a chance to go up and see him and talk to him before he passed on. Um, he did pass peacefully, which is fantastic. Um, and the service was absolutely beautiful yesterday. It was absolutely beautiful, you know. Um, and there again... He touched so many people's lives, and you can see that from these posts that I pulled from Facebook to show how many people truly loved Brian. And he was. He was so funny. He always had all kinds of jokes to tell. He always had, you know, he was always there to help. Always there to help. I moved, I don't know how many times, it's been a lot that I moved, and Brian was one of those men that was always right there for me every time that I was moving. Um, also, um, when my daughter was going through a rough patch and she didn't really have, you know, a male figure. And I had reached out to Brian to ask him if he would mind, you know, once a month even, if he would just take Asia and, you know, do dad stuff with her, I guess, you know, do just hang out with her as an adult male figure. And he didn't even hesitate. He he never hesitated to do anything to help anybody. Um, and his children, his children were absolutely his life. I mean, he was at every concert, every play, um, every recital. He was a part of father-daughter dances for the girls um, for a lot of years. Um, he would drop anything if there was ever anything. And then he was also a man of God and he worshiped, you know, he was, it was his children and his church. Those were the two things, you know, his family and his, and his church. Those were the most important things to him. And, you know, it, it truly is a big hole in my heart that he is gone now because it just, it's still so surreal and again, it just, COVID's serious, guys. It's very serious. And it, it changed our family. So before you jump to conclusions, before you think that you're invincible, before you think it'll never happen to me or my family, think again because it's going to hit home and it's going to hit hard. So do stuff to help protect others. Do stuff to help protect yourselves. You know, do what you need to. Because this needs to stop. There's too many senseless deaths happening, especially like with Brian here. He he was too young. 56 is too young to pass away from something like that. And even his pastor said he was there when he took his last breath and he's still, he, he's still in shock and utter disbelief like we all are. And so this is dedicated to Brian Hilden and his family and to all those other families who have lost loved ones because of COVID and keep their memories alive and keep smiling and keep, keep making people laugh, Brian. We love you. We miss you. We are going to continue to miss you. And we know you're always here with us. Always love you guys. And we'll see you next time.